When you hear the name Audio Technica, you think of audiophile headphones and top of the line microphones. So uh, one would assume that when Audio Technica came out with their CKR7 TW truly wireless earbuds, they should be pretty good, right? What is up everybody? I'm Beto and you're watching BVR, Beto's Vlogs and Reviews. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Audio Tenka CKR7TW wireless earbuds. That's a long ass name. So I'm probably just gonna call them Audio Technicas. Technicas, if I can learn how to say that name. Anyways, um, these earbuds came out at the beginning of the year. I wanna say around February, January, 2019, at the beginning of the year. So um, the reason I bought these earbuds was because my other ones, I had some Jaybird Freedoms and they were in horrible shape. I'll post a pic here in a bit. I think you just have one of those string hanging. Anyway, so I bought these and to be honest, I did what, well, hopefully not everyone does, but I did what some new people do is, I looked up earbuds, saw Audio Technica, and just bought them by their name. Okay, so first off, price. I bought these for, uh, Without my wife knowing, so don't say nothing. I bought these for $250, but now I've looked up recently um, and I've seen them from around the $150 to $180 range. Um, so let's go ahead and start off with what you get when you buy these. This isn't an unboxing video. I don't know if I said this or not, but I've had these for about two months. So I've already unboxed and everything. So it's not an unboxing video. So everything is not put in the right order. So don't be saying, hey, why is this messed up? Whatever. Okay. So, anyways. So another thing is these come in two colors. They come in black or gray. So that's, as you can see, I have the black ones. And um, let's go ahead and uh, start opening this. As you can see, I've already opened it. Okay, so you get the, the charging case, the earbuds. Here is the charging case. Audio Technica logo. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. And then you get, of course, the earbuds. If I can pull them out, I just shoved them in there. I don't even know if that's how they come in. Get the hell out of there. Okay. You get your two earbuds, right and left. You also get some fins for them. I've never really used the fins that much because I don't, I don't want to have earbuds with fins. And then you get, you know, cables and st or your manuals and stuff like that. And uh, it comes also with a um, micro USB. I know, micro USB. Come on, Audio Technica, what the hell? Um, also, they, they uh, obviously come with different size ear tips. Uh, I have them placed somewhere else, but like I said, this isn't an, this isn't an unboxing video. Um, so let's go ahead and start off. Overall appearance, this black color, I, I I dig this black color. I love this black color. Even the gray one looks pretty dope. I, I, I love black and gray, my two favorite colors, black, silver. And uh, so I love these, but you can tell these earbuds, they're they're on the bulky side. They're, they're pretty big. They're not heavy, of course. Well, they're heavy for earbuds, but they're on the bulky side. And um, so is the case. The case is huge. If you compare this case to um, any of the AirPods or Sennheiser uh, Momentums, anything, this case is huge. You put this in your pocket, that's all that goes in your pocket because it's it's a pretty big case. And um, I'll show you here a, a picture in a bit, but these earbuds went in the ear, they stick out quite a bit. I'll show you that here in a bit. Um, also, I've had a problem with these earbuds slipping out of my ear. I've tried different size tips I think these are the mediums. I usually go with small tips on all my ones, but on the small, I kept falling out. So I put medium, they kept falling out. So I haven't tried the large one, but I don't know if it's just a thing of sweaty ears or when I sweat, when I'm obviously not exercising, but when I'm using them at work, stuff like that. So yeah, these tend to fall off. Okay, so now, you know, I got the two earbuds. I'm gonna put them in my ear. They do, when you stick them in, they go really, really in your ears. Uh, which you think it should be pretty secure. They're not going to fall out. So let's go ahead and put them in. I got both of them in and I'm going to... Uh, I shook my cheeks from my head. You shake. I gave myself a headache. The shake test, you know, they don't seem like they're falling out. I probably shook my cheeks more than my ears. But 
during the day, at least I felt when I'm working, I'm, I'm, I'm at work and I'm listening to them, I do feel them flip out. And you can also see how they do kind of stick out a lot. So people are going to be staring at you like, what the hell are you wearing, man? But yeah, those, those are some of my takes that I've noticed on these earbuds. So a little bit of specs on these. These earbuds come with 11 millimeter drivers and they have a total life of 15 hours. Um, which is a, a decent amount of time of, of life. You know, you get six hours on these earbuds, which I don't think that's true. I've probably had around three or four hours on my mine. And then you get the other, I said six with the earbuds, nine with the charging case. So that's a total 15 hours, according to Audio Technica. That's what they said. To get a full charge on these, you need um, two hours on the buds and five hours on the case. Uh, also according to audio technica um each bud has a multi-function button you know and um audio technica also has an app and on that app you can change whatever you want these buttons to be but i think standard they come with um your right bud which i don't know which is right this is right your right bud when it's in your ear um it pauses and it plays answers phone calls because yeah this one has a mic for answering phone calls and your left one is you know i think it's a double tap volume up triple tap volume down and so like that but you know with the app you can go ahead and uh change to any function that you want um going back to the app as you can tell the app um i'll put a picture on it but pretty much the app is uh Wait, I'm trying to put these buds in and I won't go. Okay. The app is uh, pretty much plain. There really isn't much to the app. Another feature that I maybe bypassed a little bit was um, this um, case has an indicator light on it. You press it and lets you know how much battery you have left. Like I said, I just pressed it. You press it once and it tells you how much battery you have. Blue. One, one bar. So my case is pretty low. I'm going to go ahead and pull my right butt out since um if they're in the charging case course the right bud is a main bud so you can listen to the right one and have your left bud charging but you can't do it vice versa so your right one's the, the main one so i'm gonna go ahead and you know hook this up um let's see let's see okay it's connected i go back to audio technica app and i just want to show you guys the app pretty much functions it's like i said it's it's a pretty plain app there ain't really isn't much to do so you know i pick my bud that i have that i'm connected to um go ahead and start and um okay you know give me my battery life um for some reason this button isn't working which way to go audio technica anyways a cool thing that i did like about these about the app is the product locator app and i guess um you can it's pretty much a find my bud so it tells you where the last place that you had your buds on if you can't find them or anything like that so that was pretty cool about the um app other than that um your audio codex might have mine on auto which sure you can also uh, thought you could program the buttons uh yeah key assign so there you go you could go ahead and program your buttons whichever way you want them i just have them regular which what they say is right is answering and playing forward and back and then the left is just volume wise um so that's that's pretty much the app uh downfall no eq on this app so if you don't like the sound that's coming from the buds you have to you know go third party and buy an app and or something but you won't be able to control the eq using um the app okay so um sound quality on these buds which most of you are just here to want to know what sound quality do they sound good um they have a clean flat tone to them flat and i've noticed this a lot with lots of audio technica products is that they they have a flat tone they don't they're not bass heavy i've heard lots of reviews say that dang these they have pretty good bass no they're lying these are not bass heavy i feel if they let a little eq chart out they have a little dip in the bass and everything else would be flat um so they're lacking in the bass and in the mid range. They have really good treble, but if you're lacking in bass and mid and you only have treble or high, um, it, it's I don't like the sound. I was expecting a whole lot more from, like I said, $250 buds. Um, the sound really disappointed me. And as far as watching videos on these, 
horrible horrible the video lag latency which pretty much means delay is horrible on these um i want to say it's a good one to two seconds so for watching videos it's not that good i'm going to try to put this bud right on the camera see if you can hear it while the video is playing so you can kind of tell for yourself uh, how bad it is i have value, volume on max so let's see um let me see if i can use both buds you probably get better sound out of it if i use both buds so please imagine So yeah, it's um, it's bad. Uh, if if it didn't, that test didn't work out good, uh, trust me when I say the lag latency on this is horrible. It's one to two seconds. What I have found is um, after a while watching the same video, if you can bear to watch a video that long with that horrible lag, um, the audio tends to correct itself but the the quality of the audio downgrades horrible it's 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 horrible downgrading what happens um it's pretty much unlistenable unlistenable i don't know if that's a word but it, it, it's it's horrible to listen to so for 250 bucks that's another con and i had touched uh before us that the right uh earbud has a mic where you can answer calls and as far as call quality you can hear them fairly well as far as them hearing you what i have heard what people have told me is that it sounds like i'm kind of far away and i'm on speakerphone using these so it's not really good quality and a one big downfall which is also a big con is that if you have both earbuds in whenever you're making a call the sound from the left one goes away and you can only hear from the right bud which i mean it kind of makes sense if you're holding your phone up to your ear and you're talking like that but as far as earbuds um i mean even even airpods you can hear you sh usually hear both of the, the earbuds are working and you hear sound from both of them so as far as this one you only hear it from the right side so that is kind of a downfall for me okay so overall with this review um I have a final pros and cons on these earbuds, the Auto Technica. Uh, first of all, let's start with pros since it's a lot shorter on my pros and cons. Uh, pros, the color. I love the color black and gray. So that's a pro. Another pro, which I don't know if it's a pro now, pro nowadays, but it's a Bluetooth 5.0, which I mean, even skull candies and stuff like that have them. No, no disc skull candy because they probably sound a lot better than this. So yeah, it's kind of a pro. And um, my other pro would be the the product locator. Uh, the product locator app on the app is, at, I thought that was cool. You know, if you ever misplace buds or anything, you just turn them on and show you the last place where they were on. So I thought that was, that was pretty cool. Cons, starting with cons, long list, bear with me. Earbuds. Pretty bulky, pretty bulky. I mean, they're bulky. Another con, at least I felt they slip out on me a lot. They don't, I mean, you can feel the seal, but then you just feel slipping, slipping, slipping. I don't know if it's just getting sweaty or the type of buds. Maybe I need some kind of foam type of buds or something, which I don't think they sell for these. The case, the case is huge. I mean, I feel like there's so much space that they could have, you know, put the buds a whole lot together to make these uh to make this case a whole lot smarter to, to fit a lot better a big con is this a micro usb everyone nowadays has usb c especially if you're paying for 250 dollars or even 150 nowadays whatever it is um micro usb kind of a downfall more cons uh the video lag latency is horrible i showed you on the test if you could hear the earbuds um the lag latency is horrible on the earbuds i hated it don't recommend it just bad on watching videos with this like i did like i did say it would eventually clear itself out but the quality just takes a big dip the sound quality is flat um not my cup of tea I, i'm more of a bass heavy type of guy i like hearing nice punch in my bass and you know nice high range as well and these have nice high range but as far as mids and lows i feel like they have a dip in there so it's just pretty trebly sound no bass or umph to it so that's 
as far as for me that was a big con another con is the app um it's plain no eq which i feel like if they had an eq on this app it probably would have helped me out a lot i probably could have get a little more bass and then they probably would have sounded amazing but the app is plain like i said you you pretty much don't do nothing with the app once you have everything done you never need the app again and you don't even need the app in the first place unless you want to do product locator also i don't know the fancy word for it but they're not splash proof or sweat proof so that kind of sucks you know earbuds wireless earbuds lots of people use them for running and working out as you can tell i don't um you figure you want sweat proof buds maybe that's also why it slips out but splash proof sweat proof need to be mandatory on wireless earbuds i feel as well because that's what usually people use them for on the go running or stuff like that and you know you're gonna get some sweat and stuff like that on these earbuds and these supposedly according to audio technica are not sweat or splash proof and finally the biggest con of them all i got screwed 250 bucks for this come on man 250 bucks my wife's gonna kill me audio technica she didn't know i bought these and now when she finds out that i bought these for 250 she's gonna kill me even now 150 180 I don't recommend that price on these buds, even if you find them for 150 right now. These buds have the quality. I mean, you can literally find some skull candy ones that are 10 times better than these. Um, if these buds went down to 50 bucks, honestly, $50, then I'd buy them. And please, anyone that's watching this video, learn from my mistakes, my suffering. Because, you know, anything I'm going to review on this page is me buying because obviously i don't have no subscriber no views <laughs> so i'm not going to be getting sent stuff so this is all stuff that i bought with my own money and i regret buying these that's my final review i regret buying these i can't return them because there's you know once you stick something in the ear blah blah blah, blah you can't return them so i'm screwed with these that's the only reason i still have these after two months um so yeah learn from my suffering and please don't do the same mistake Another option uh, that I'd rather give for these, if you want to go in the same price range, which is the $250, $200 range, uh, maybe even $300 range, I have not used them, but I've seen several reviews and you can never go wrong with Sennheiser. And these Sennheiser uh, Momentum True Wireless, I think that's what they're called, have amazing reviews. I want to get my hands on them, but probably going to be a while until my wife forgets about all this stuff. But... Um, so yeah, I, I'd recommend those. And I mean, I think they're $2.99 regularly priced, but right now you can find them on sale at Best Buy for $209 or $200, so that's $100 off. So that's that's cheaper than these and they're amazing. Um, if any of you watch Flossie Carter, he has the Sennheiser uh, Momentum Wireless. He has those, the, the earbuds as his top wireless earbuds. So, um, and that guy knows what he's doing, so yeah. I'd go with the Sennheisers, not with these. Okay, everybody, so this was my first review, reviewing anything on video. It's kind of weird talking to the camera and, you know, trying to concentrate whatever I had thought about saying. I know I maybe skipped a lot of things. So if you guys would be kind and uh, give me some suggestions, what I need to improve on, what else I need to touch on. If you guys want more specs, I'm not the type of guy that likes I mean, specs are important, but I'm not really like, oh, five decibels, blah, 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 blah. you know, I'm trying to reach out to the average consumer, me as well, um, just say, yeah, I, lo I love these or no, I hate these. Um, but like I said, if you have any suggestions on how I can improve my reviews, go ahead and leave a comment. Please leave a comment, please. Also, if you have these earbuds, the Audio Technica CKR7 TW wireless earbuds, if you have these, I'd like to know your opinion. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you agree with me? Do you think I'm stupid and everything I said is full of crap because you work for Audio Technica and now you hate me? Um, leave a comment and let me know what you think about these earbuds if you have them. So anyways, guys, thank you guys very much. That was my first official review on BBR. I'm Beto and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.